brutals out of the States on how the zombies looked. I remember we had about 40 photographs over two days of our actors in full makeup and wardrobe months out from the event. And we were very proud of how they looked and we sent them over for submission and approval, feeling confident, time was ticking, and AMC came back and said, not approved, we can still see pink in the skin, they don't look dead enough, please resubmit. And we're like, wow, there's days and weeks of work again. And their point was, we don't want to see any pink skin coming through the makeup. And that gives you an idea of a little insight in how difficult the process can be for us to get creatively across the line before we even build a maze. I can remember seeing The Conjuring 2 this year in a preview screening, and that maze was given birth by sitting in the back row of a cinema with a pen light and a pencil and literally drawing ideas on a sketch pad while watching the movie for the first time and trying to keep up with it. Then all the team come in and feed off those ideas and then to physically see it built in a space is quite amazing. We've got a great group of people that work on these things, uh, too many people to name tonight. But when you walk into that particular maze, if you know the movie, you should feel like you've walked onto the set. The attention to detail in some of those spaces is really something else. So let's get into it. One of the other reasons we're here, folks, before I let you move out to the stunt arena, each year we have what is known as the Real Horror Film Festival. And what this is, is we take in short films made by relatively newcomers to the genre of filmmaking, and then select out of that with our team in the marketing department who is taking the gong on a number of categories. And I believe we have some of those filmmakers here this evening. If I could just see a show of arms. We've got a few around here. Lovely, terrific. Want to thank you all very much. And how about a round of applause for Australia's next generation of filmmakers. All right. So one of the things that the marketing team do is they look at the films and then with our head of the art studio, go through and evaluate the films on the integrity of the, the final finish, the choices made with the narrative, and then of course, what is it doing from a story perspective? Is it giving me the creeps? And there were some films that absolutely did that this year, and I'm joined by our very good friend, the gatekeeper here this evening. You can tell by that side expression on his face, he would not want to be anywhere else but here. <laughs> right, so the gatekeeper of course will be your MC for the evening. He's also the guy you're going to see at the opening at 6 and at 10 o'clock for the Rise of the Dead closer. This is the final Rise of the Dead for the year. Make sure you're on the street at 10 o'clock tonight because it's really special. It's a great way to see the night out. Isn't that right, Gatekeeper? Yes, he said. So let's get into the awards. Ladies and gentlemen, we firstly want to say a big thank you to all the filmmakers for all their time, effort and energy. These things aren't done without a lot of pain and passion. And it's not an easy thing to do. Getting a movie made in Australia anyway is really, really difficult. Let alone trying to pull it together with your friends in a short window of time and get some traction with your craft. So to each of those filmmakers here this evening, congratulations for the work that you've done and a big uh, cheer for all of you, a round of applause for your effort. Thank you. We have three categories tonight. They are the people's choice the runner-up, and then our final grand winner. So it is a $500 prize on People's Choice as well as runner-up, and then $5,000 for the winner with the most successful film from this year's festival. So without further ado, let's get into that. In the category of the People's Choice, as voted by our team, I'm pleased to tell you that our winner is a short film called The Rake, directed by Tyler Benny. So feel free, you might want to turn that the other way, gatekeeper, if you want to get a photograph. Now let me tell you folks, the, the rake plotline, despite seeing a newspaper clipping regarding a strange human-like creature spotted in their local area, Tyler and his friends go ahead with their plans to graffiti a nearby drain at night. They hear a blood-curdling shriek echoing through the dark tunnels, but then the two boys come to regret their ignorant mistake. Our team certainly found it chilling and worthy of the award, People's Choice. Congratulations, well done. If when we leave here you're wondering, that's great, that's a nice looking prop, what do I do, where's my check? We're going to follow you up in the wheel call, right? So congratulations to you. Our runner up this evening, ladies and gentlemen. This was a film called The Whistler. Oh my God. Jesse Gorn Buckland, Sarah Yeo, I hope I had that right. Thomas Stephan, I hope I had that right. The directors, come on over. 
The Whistler, after a day out at the park with her friend, Jessie discovers she has misplaced her phone. Upon using her friend's mobile, she calls her own. There's a strange answer on the other end. She decides her phone is not a lost cause. She heads home. When Jessie arrives home, she finds her phone is lying in the middle of her bed, right where she left it. This is where the night of horror begins. So congratulations to The Whistler. Well done, team. And now, ladies and gentlemen, before we let you head out over to the Hollywood Stunt Driver Arena to get your Fright Night started, the winner of the Real Horror Film Festival for 2016 and the $5,000 prize. The winner of that is a little film known as Mannequin. Here we are. Zach McCoy Davies was the director. Congratulations to you, Zach. A lonely costume designer is working alone in a dark theatre when hearing bumps in the night discovers the arrival of a bubble-wrapped mannequin. It sounds creepy, all right. So congratulations to Zach. The winner of this year's Real Horror Film Festival, folks, is Mannequin. Congratulations. And a big congrats to every single person that was part of that this year and submitted their art and their craft. One thing I certainly know after being in the business here for almost 30 years is that artists give heart and soul when they're trying to get their stuff out. And it's never easy if you're unsuccessful, but it's always great when you are. But our team certainly felt that this year those were the films that stood out to us. Congratulations to you each. Folks, big round of applause for the team. We're going to get you over to the Hollywood Stunt Driver.